We're here today with Marnie Levine. You started your career in the public sector. You worked in yeah, you have government, experience in government Washington, and, and now here you are working in Silicon Valley. Uh, that's a huge change. There are so many different kinds of roles that one can play in the tech world. Ten years ago, when I was in business school, it would have been impossible for me to say that I wanted to have a job at Instagram and I wanted to be the COO of Instagram because it didn't even exist then. Mm -hmm. The industry is changing so quickly. For my job in particular, there's no set playbook. Yeah. But that's what makes it so fun and so interesting and so challenging. How do you feel about Valencia being a popular baby name this year? I think it's, hyster I think it's hysterical. Yeah. We are just very thankful that no one has named their child X-Pro2. But there's always next Yet. year. So yeah. who knows? <laughs> who knows? <laughs> so I'm going to put your skills to the test here and do a couple rapid fire questions. OK, um, I'm ready. It's a competition. You have one minute to answer as many as we can. OK, okay. let's do it. Ready? Yes. Timer, set, go. What time do you wake up? 5 a.m. Last person you texted? My husband. Instagram trend you love? Uh, hashtag TBT. Favorite sports team? Warriors. The last book you read? Um, Children's Act, Ian McEwen. Go-to office outfit? Anything black. Favorite app? Uh, besides Instagram, Waze, because I can't get from point A to point B without it. Three things you'll always find on your desk? Uh, pens. Um, my iPhone, especially if I'm sitting there, and um, candy. Me too. I'm going to come steal some candy. Okay. <laughs> when, were, when you were little, what did you want to be when you grew up? Uh, morning news anchor. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? Uh, to create more time in the day. I want that one. What's the last photo you Instagrammed? Um, one with me and Zach King doing a boomerang. Amazing. Best part of your job? Uh, sitting here with people like you. One minute. One minute. Okay. Well, there we go. <laughs> Good. Good job. Good job, Marty. <laughs> You've given the sage advice, meandering with a sense of purpose. Yeah. I you kind of have meandered around, but each thing sort of connects to each other and yeah. builds on um, some of the skills and experiences that I've had, but I haven't necessarily been able to see what that next thing was going to be. If you had to do anything differently, what would it be? I think that time is our, um, in some ways, our scarcest and most precious resource. And so when I think back on my 20s, I probably would have mourned the breakups of the relationships for mm -hmm. a shorter period of time. Move forward and channel all of that energy into something far more productive. What is a challenge that you've overcome in your life? I think I've overcome many challenges, but one challenge in particular um, is a physical challenge. Um, when I was four and a half, years old, I had um, fluid in my ears, and that resulted in a hearing loss. Oh. And I've gone through my whole life figuring out different ways to manage that. Everything from when I would go to slumber parties as a kid, yeah. I would strategically place my sleeping bag in certain places so that, wow. because I couldn't really hear the whispers at night, wow. to where I would place myself in a meeting so that I could hear what the person who was presenting was going to be saying. Last year, I suddenly asked myself the question, what am I embarrassed about? There is technology that exists, really yeah. good technology, yeah. hearing aids, and um, it can make my life better. And I got those hearing aids, and it has made my life exponentially better. Mm -hmm. And it's just a great reminder about how technology can improve people's lives. Thank you, Marnie, for your time. You have incredible advice. I feel like I've learned so much uh, sitting here, and, I, and I, I know everyone out there really appreciates your your time. Thanks so much for having me. Really appreciate it. Of course. There's ways that you could go like. <laughs>